It's been a night of carnage and destruction. Reputations shattered, hopes lost. And as we leave Anuba and the cheese floor, Charwell also learns there's been a small election last night. You happy, disappointed, sad, devastated, grief stricken? Uh, I'm very disappointed. I'm really angry and it's my birthday <laughs> and I'm really angry. What's the mood in college this morning? Death. How do you feel about uh, the results this morning? Um, yeah, it's just a massive shame all over the board from here in England and at home as well. It just... um, yeah, obviously I feel like despondent and down about it. Uh, obviously like communities across the country are going to be ripped apart by quite a cruel and callous Tory government. The demise of... Like, hope. Yeah? Okay, yeah, fair enough. The demise of hope. So what does, yeah. what does Labour... Any thoughts what Labour does now? Um, I mean, obviously put Ed Miliband in the bin <laughs> and get someone that's got a big shiny face. And, and do you think that if David was leader that the result would have been different? David Miliband? David Miliband. Uh, I don't really buy into the whole... Like, let's come up with reasons to say that Ed Miliband is sort of unworthy of his leadership. Okay. I was. Uh, I think it's sort of just the right wing press. Um, okay. It's not what I voted for. I wish it had been different. I thought Ed Miliband was improving over time. Um, that's who had my vote Labour and Greens up in Leicester, not in Oxford, because I'm down here visiting the daughter who's just given birth. Ed Miliband has said he's, he's probably going to resign. Um, I like that sandwich, by the way. Is that the halloumi and... Yeah, it's, yeah, it's good, isn't it? So, what are you thinking? Are you feeling sorry for Ed Miliband right now? Not really. <laughs> um, so, you're actually the first person we've had being positive about it. Um, what do you think about the potential for austerity? Yeah, it's good. Yeah? Yeah, because I've done a good job over the last five years and I'm happy for them to continue for another five years. I think it's good to have some stability in the country. That was the Labour Party tour bus leaving now. They're not welcome here anymore. Um, I voted for the Blues, because I always vote for them. But... And how do you feel about the, the cuts to the fire service? Uh, it's pretty bad, to be quite honest. It's changed dramatically over the last sort of 15 years. Um, I don't think the general public realise how much of cuts have actually you know, come into place. So how do you feel about things like Ed Balls, Vince Cable, Danny Alexander losing their seats? It's probably quite good. Shake things up a bit, and I think it's probably what British, British, British politics kind of needs, I think. But... Do you want to come over here? Would you like to come and speak to the mic? Uh, he doesn't really speak in there. He says, he says thank you. He says thank you. <laughs> That's what he says. No problem. What do you think about the SNP though? Well, very interesting, but I haven't directly... 56 out of 59 seats. That is amazing. That is stunning. I have relatives who live in Scotland who have been very, very impressed with her from before, from the uh, referendum. So, uh, yeah. Um... It's, it's difficult because in many respects I sort of think that the SNP have got some good policies. Yeah, one quick question. Nicola Sturgeon, yay or nay? Um, nay. They don't really tend to like parties that have nationalist in the name. Any predictions for the next five years? Only very sad ones. Sad ones, OK. Yeah, like the, the EU vote, I think, is going to... Like, it could go quite badly. And things like the Human Rights Act might get repealed, which is really problematic. So it's, yeah, not good. Did you vote Green Party? I didn't. I should have. I, I almost just thought, did. I, I, you know, I, I was very close to it. Are they not more animal friendly? As well, but then animals also need caring for, so... Fair point. Um, so how are you feeling today, after everything about this morning, last night? This is tragic. Boo! Did you stay up and watch everything? No, I went to bed and I was kind of hoping that the poll would have, like, been wrong, but whenever I got up, yeah. Are you Scottish? And Northern Irish. Oh, God. So the general feeling here on the ground is that for the good burgers of Oxford West and Abingdon and Oxford East, it was a really rather disappointing night, regardless of whether or not they got into bridge.